I was talking about the free to play war through. We forgot to grab Twilly last time. So we're going to grab him this time. I always do on a stab like every video but I forgot. And I can't remember but we might have had a level up. I don't know. Sometimes I do forget about those. No I didn't. Uh, these are my stats for anyone interested. Uh, pretty simple but pretty useful I guess. Alright so I had a thought uh, last time. About which um, saga we were going to do next. So I've decided we're going to be doing stocking the shelves. Now I will say this right now. This is optional. So if you guys are watching this as a walkthrough. Just know that you do not have to do this. But it is a pretty good quest line. So you might as well. So we're going to go to Nathera. So we're pretty much in the same place where we did the, um, the Dragon Egg Saga. And the Sivan Limcrest section. So we're going back there again, and we're near two quest. Uh, with Nefera, she has a couple of stuff, so you can talk to her with this, and then shop. Essence Mage. And then if you have Elemental Essences, you trade in for these weapons. Pretty good. Um, it's not really worth it, like, you know, farming. But, you know, if you ever need, like, an Ice Weapon or a Stone Weapon or something. And she also has Flowers. Um, which you can sort of, I don't really know what these do, uh, I might have to check that, I never actually got anything. Uh, we're uh, gonna go with quests, so, um, you see here we have Rise of the Dragon Mage, which is like a second section, so if you guys are confused with how that works, uh, we have the timeline here, which is, this section is the first section, and this is the Dragon Mage section. So there's like two storylines as part of Nathera's quest. It's quite a lot, quite a lot to do. Uh, but we're gonna start with stocking the shells first. Might as well do the first one first, obviously. All right, so we have to gather some ingredients for Nathera's like potion shit. Uh, so we have to gather six different plants. Now to do that, we just have to go find them. Uh, so we have a Sylph Drake, uh, nothing, no resistances. Interesting. We, we very rarely see something with zero nothing. Zero anything. <laughs> so we're going to check to the right here. And as you can see, there's going to be a flower right here. Uh, we have a ribald. 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 Kind of weird. It's like a... I don't even know what to call him. It's just a weird person. A weird creature. And he deserves to die. So here you go, in one more hit, oh 69, nice. Alright so we'll pick this up, there we go, we need 5 more plants. Now um, all of the plants are not going to look like this, they're all going to look different, for example there's one right here. So keep in mind, you're not going to look for the same plant over and over again. Let's sort of mention that in case people try and look for the exact same one. I don't see why they would, but you know, you never know. You guys may be a bit weirder than I am. Unlikely. It's a, it's a fairly honest mistake, to be honest. Uh, so we have the fifth plant. Now, I can't remember where all of these are. So it's kind of just trial and error. Uh, this is going to heal us. I highly recommend walking past these. Well, I'll do it because it's a walkthrough. So uh, whenever you damage these enemies, I don't know if it's when they say food percent health. They heal to like full health. So they're really annoying. So you can't use wind or light, which is bad for me. Doubly bad for me. Because this is wind and my second best weapon is light. It's kind of annoying. We need to level up so we can use these. Uh, either way, uh, let's go for our surgings. Uh, yeah, we'll go to surgings. Alright, so I highly recommend you buff up first. And maybe just skip your damage with Twilly. Just in case they decide to heal when Twilly hits them. So we'll buff up and then use a multi attack. And it should kill. I know wait. I don't know. I thought they had less HP. Okay, so we'll um we'll get a war cry as well. Maybe get a war cry first. Oh. It critted and it just wiped it out. <laughs> Not bad, I'm not going to complain. So the idea is, is you can stun them, you can stun them, I will say. Uh, but the idea is that you're just going to try and kill them as in one hit. 
There you go. And there you go. Uh, come on. Oh. See what I mean? Watch this. They get a full heal. It's really annoying. Incredibly annoying. Either way, there you go. So you gotta try and kill them as fast as you can. Pretty much. I might as well eat this. And I can't. But some. Oh, there you go. Alright, so we have nothing down here, which is quite sad. Because we did all of that for no reason. We'll go up this time. And is that a pot? Oh, 10 bonus gold. Okay, it's one of those quests where you get random items. Alright, so we're going to wipe this as all out uh, by shielding and getting a final. Shit, okay. We didn't kill, but... Oh, Twilly almost killed it. Shit. This is really annoying. These are like some of my most hated enemies in the game. By a long shot. They're so annoying. I mean, stunning them is like the best way to go, to be honest. So we'll we'll stun them and just save ourselves a lot of stress in the future. Because it will heal again and we won't be able to kill it in one more hit. So might as well. There you go. Alright, so we have the next plant, uh, which means we got three more. Now, we'll walk past this asshole. We'll kill this one. Uh, this one is weak to light, I believe. Yes, minus 10, and light 200. Darkness 200, I mean. Uh, powder blood demands all. Get this out. Uh, get a defend. To early, you can do your magic. There you go. And this one's kill. But they were very close. And so we should be able to finish off with a power attack. So it should be able to kill. Come on. There you go. Just about. And this thing here is like a dragon amulet shop. So we get to open a statue. Uh, we can't look at it. But I think we get some weapons. But for a free play we're going to have to ignore it. Sad times. Uh, there's not a plant right here. And there's one right here, looks like a penis. Trake's penis. A cactus. Um, we also have one down here. Now, these things, I will note, we can actually click on them. Without walking up to them. It's a pretty cool trick. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but, you know. Anyway, we have a wisp. Uh, same as the ghost, minus 10 and 200. Uh, this should kill when we get a walk, right? We'll skip Twilly's 10. Not really much need for it right now. There you go. Nice. Uh, we got the plant. We need one more. And it's right here. There you go. Uh, I don't know if this is like the only way to get all the plants. There might be extra ones lying around. And it might be like uh, you only need six. Well, it's like 10 in total. Who knows? I'm not really sure. And I'm not going to spend... An extra 5 or 10 minutes looking around. <laughs> and there you go. We got all of the plants. A hey, minx ring level 8 ring. Well look what that does. Uh, our ring is. Oh we didn't put it on. <laughs> this is definitely better than our ring. Uh, well. It adds decks which we don't need. Uh, magic defense. Alright, I'm gonna keep the um oh but this is an amulet shit. Never mind. It's not very good anyway. I'd rather have the plus one to our health. Alright, so we have the next quest which is called It's Not Fair. Alright, so in this quest we actually play as Nathira as a child. So um a big running theme of this oh shit, I'm an idiot. I need to look at five more. Um I'm an idiot. Um the idea of some of this these quests in the storyline. Is that we get to play as an Ethera. And it's quite a common occurrence. It happens quite a lot in this storyline. So people might not like that. But I don't really mind it. Uh, light 10. Water minus 50. In what is 65. And down is 90. I don't think we have anything that will do water. So not really much point. But Nathera is pretty powerful. And she's going to destroy these. So we have to go around and grab these little potion things on the floor. We might as well just use this blast on like all the enemies. Uh, we'll check out the other skills though. So we have a shield. 80% block. I don't see why I'd use that. Can't certainly go one shot the enemy. A 2 turn stun. 
and an energy strike. We'll try this. There you go. Okay. Pretty simple. Not as good damage as the other. And we have a kick. There you go. All your attacks get a one shot. And you need to look at one more. And I think it's down here. Yes. Okay, there you go. And we'll just blast. Nice. It's 200 years later and Nathera wants to be able to use her magic now. So yeah, it's a little bit of intro about inf intro. info about Nathera. She's like over 200 years old. Quite old. Alright, so up next we have It's Elementary. Uh, this is another curse where he plays in Nathera. I kind of regret uh, gripping on my stuff back. Note to self, that might happen quite a lot. So this is Nathera trying to prove that dragons are better than elementals. Throw something. Nice. Um, so basically, Nathera has like dragon blood because her mother's a dragon kind of thing. So she is trying to gain her powers. That's pretty much all this is about is like Nathera trying to gain her powers. Uh, this guy, by the way, is man 15200. She basically got um, told to do a job and just thought, fuck you, no, these elementals are disrespectful. So we're gonna throw rocks at them and kill them. I understand there's not really much point showing their resistances because you don't really get a choice. In man 50, man 50, 25 and 200, and not really much point, but either way, I think we're done after this one guy. Either that or just like one more, I can't remember. I uh, we guess we'll find out in a second. Yes, I am right. And up next we have Persian Mastery. I need your help again, Midnight. So we're playing as ourselves today. Uh, but I think it's like a little mini game. It's like a little guessing of like a remembrance type game. So we have attempts. So we got that, this one, this one, this one. Now we have to like replicate it. So it, well, I think it'll be random for each of you guys by the way. So I don't know. Maybe not. There you go. And I think it's the same pattern but like an extra. Uh, no it isn't. Okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, pretty easy. There you go. And another one. Very stressful this. I'm scared, I'm scared I'll ruin it. So we have this. No shit, it was that one, then that one. Crap, I knew them as well, I just pressed the wrong one. Yeah, I did it in the wrong order. And there you go, I think we have one more, or maybe two. And I fucked it up and I have to do it again now. I don't know how this is so hard. It's not easy. There's so many items you can click on. There you go. Complete quest. So you can like mess it up a couple of times and you don't have to worry about it too much. So that's good. It'd be really annoying if you had to fail the quest every time you tried it. <laughs> every time you got it wrong, you had to restart. That would be terrible. So after a big um, cut... Talk with Cicero for who knows why. There was a massive explosion at Wallach Shack. And there was a massive explosion. I already said that. And we have to go investigate. And now we're climbing Wallach's tower. Looking for the source of the explosion. Dead Sock Monkey, uh, Shrink 10. Um, immobility 100. Fire Mass 30. One, waterman 30. Let's put on our... Uh, uh, this one. There you go. Uh, I don't really see the point because our sword does more damage regardless. So, um, like, <laughs> the extra bonus damage probably is only gonna make up for the damage that you lost. You know what I mean? Let's actually calculate it. There's no point switching if we don't need to. Uh, 33, 40. Uh, 10% of 33. Three is 3.3. Honestly, it's about the same. Let's just put back on our other sword. If you got a better, better water or a fire weapon, then definitely use it. But if it is really low level, then no one will try. Uh, this guy, 
and we have the exact same stuff and we have the bugbear uh shrink 10 memorably 10 darkness 101 light minus 30 and so we could put on a light weapon for this i don't know why it's like 101 Darkness. that means he'll heal for one percent of the damage that we deal i believe that's how it's calculated kind of weird Move have four Scissors, Agitated Orbs. Uh, has nothing. Interesting. He has uh, quite a bit of HP though, so might as well buff up and then... <laughs> just turn a big Scissor at him. Uh, and then buff up. And wipe the guy out. Oh no. He's got Hyper Beam. And kaboom, dead. Oh. <laughs> and there you go, we have a cutscene. And in the fit of rage... Nathira murdered Warlick and took his orb and now she has her powers back I think the blue mage is dead the blue mage is dead witness the rise of the purple mage there you go uh, we have level 31 sword this might be a dragon um we, what the fuck okay I don't know why that happened um uh, let's see what this is no it's a very simple weapon, I guess. It looks kind of weird. Uh, we'll keep it. We haven't got a level 31 weapon, have we? So, we've got Sir Jinx, I think. Level 30, but it's different. So, either way, I'm going to leave this on here. Now, I understand we only have one more quest as part of the um, this section of the game. But it is like a war quest, so it's got like a good amount of stuff to do in it. If I did it right now, my video would be like an hour long, so I'm going to have to end it here. So I'm sorry about that. I know we didn't finish it, but it's a pretty long quest. It might even be a video on itself. Who knows? I don't know. Either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next part. Bye-bye.